Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Again, me, Eugene from CBS, Canadian Business and Enterprise Services. And today, as promised, I would like to show you how to make a nuanced name search for federal named incorporation. This is, as discussed, the first step that you must uh, complete in order to register a corporation with a certain name, showing that you're not using identical or confusingly similar corpor corporation name to the existing company names, uh, trademarks. Uh, and in the case of federal incorporation, that should be done for all the companies across Canada. So, and that's why I usually suggest my clients to come up with two, three options of alternative names, uh, just to make the process more efficient. Um, there are 1.1 million companies across Canada, which means your proposed name might be very much already used. So, um, first condition is you have to put in the search line a complete string of your company name. So, if you want, I came with the company name Watermelon Designs. If you want to call your company Watermelon Designs, you should put all three words there. Watermelon is not enough. You will not be able to use it in the incorporation, adding additional words. On the other side, do not use the ending. Inc, Corp, LTD, Limited, all other options. Leave it for the incorporation stage. You will add them there. So let's start with Watermelon Designs. I already tried to search it and see what are the alternative uh, options existing uh, for this name. So we have a green light, no exact matches for Watermelon Designs. But what it means is that no one uses this exact string of words. It doesn't mean that someone else is not using just a watermelon name. And let's check and make sure that I'm correct. So watermelon, exact match warning. So we have one, two, three uh, companies or trademarks in this case. TM is a trademark that use watermelon combination. So we have watermelon Rita, heavy watermelon and sour watermelon. Uh, they don't sound really close to what we want to use, but what I suggest is also go online before you pay the money and make sure that these guys do not uh, work in the design industry because otherwise it will really be a little bit too close to the existing names. Uh, also keep in mind that this is the exact combination. So if someone uh, used a little bit differently uh, watermelon uh, in their names, we'll find it in the search in the nuance resulting file itself, but not at this stage. So let's go back to Watermelon Designs. We know that there is no um, same use of the name and we can proceed to the next step. So the next step, the question is, where do we want to register? As I told you, we're doing it federally. And what is the unique part? The unique part is Watermelon. So um, the last question is, in which industry our corporation will operate? I would choose arts, entertainment, and recreation. There is nothing else too much close to what we want to do. So there is an option, other services, which is encompassing any else, anything else that is not covered by the provided uh, types of industries. You can see that the list here is very short. So let's use arts, but if you cannot find something that fits you, use other services that would fit almost anything else. And the next step is actually the completion of the search. So um, we will move to make the payment and we will have to provide the email to which the report will be sent. So I provide my personal email here. We do the um, nuance search for 13.8 Canadian dollars. So at which point the payment is complete and we're moving to the completion of the transaction. That's it. So we got the nuance search report. It will be sent within a couple of minutes. The search is automatic to my email. And once I receive it, I'll show you how to review the report, what to pay attention to, and how to evaluate your result. So let's return to Corporation of Canada homepage. Okay, and we're back with the search uh, results from the federal nuance search uh, engine. So uh, here's the result. So we have the, here, uh, we have our um, federal reservation report, uh, which is good for 60 days for us to register this name as a corporation. This is the number that we'll be using as a part of incorporation process. And we are using the name Watermelon Designs. So uh, nuance report will be uh, divided into two sections. One, 
uh, is the business one related to all existing businesses, uh, sole proprietorships and business name registrations across Canada. Second one, trademark report, and I'll show you immediately uh, how to verify them. So in the uh, business section, you can see there's watermelon design shop, uh, white watermelon event design, uh, white water art design, and some other uh, related names, but I would concentrate my attention actually on the first one as the uh, engine rightfully chosen. Um, watermelon design shop uh, sounds very much similar, uh, confusingly similar to what we want to do. Uh, I wouldn't stop here, I would go online and search what watermelon design shop is actually doing because they might be engaged in the business of selling um, interior designs, uh, some design uh, items for the houses, offices, or whatever else for that matter, uh, and not in uh, graphic design or what we want to do. So this wouldn't stop us from incorporating, uh, but further search is required definitely. And during the incorporation process, you will be required to explain why is watermelon designs uh, not confusingly similar to watermelon design. And if you can explain that they act in a completely different area, that's okay. Uh, this will not prevent you from registering corporation under this name. And now let's scroll down and we are still in the business section. Um, you have to verify and to review some additional names. Maybe the engine missed them and put them somewhere uh, towards the bottom, like watermelon music, watermelon books, and other watermelon uh, combinations. But then we come to trademark report. In trademark report, uh, we see all the trademarks that are being used across Canada for uh, the use of word watermelon. And uh, here again, you have uh, anti-bully watermelon club design and watermelon label design. Um, again, I would investigate a little bit further, but here we have the information. So here we have backpacks, book bags, sport bags, etc., etc., And we have beers, non-alcohol beverages, uh, still waters, etc., etc. Both of them seem to be very far away from what we want to register. Uh, keep on searching though and make sure that none uh, is using the watermelon combination for their graphic design business. And if not, again, as long as you're not uh, competing and people will not confuse uh, your uh, watermelon graphic design with the beer that they buy at the store, that's okay. You probably will be able to register the name. That's it. That's how you have to evaluate your nuance. A search result based on the proposed names and existing names. Make sure and remember the principle is not identical and not confusingly similar in the same or close industries. So if someone is making beer named uh, watermelon design, it doesn't mean that your uh, graphic design company will be confusingly similar and you won't be able to use identical name, but uh, with a bit of deviation, you'll be able to proceed forward. There's no one uh, that is exact, exactly what we suggested, watermelon designs, uh, so should be okay. And we'll show you on the next video how to incorporate the watermelon designs federally and what would be the result. So thank you for watching. As usual, please leave your comments in the comment section below. Uh, send us your questions and we'll happily answer you. If you uh, get confused or you don't feel too confident in proceeding with this process on your own, send me an email, I will help you. And if needed, I will assist you in registering your corporation federally, making it right, uh, ensuring that uh, all your rights are protected from the very first step. Again, thank you for being with us and um, come back again, subscribe. We're going to publish more videos on different steps of your company development, registration, growth, compliance, uh, financials, taxes, and much more. Thank you.